I was a three season athlete and my senior year I played one sport because it wasn't safe for me anymore. And like, I loved soccer. And before I transitioned, I was the first girl on the guy's soccer team to play in that high school. And then I was never a starter, but like I had most, some of the most assists on the team. And like, that's what I loved to do. And then that wasn't an option anymore after I transitioned because I was more afraid to, honestly, that my, I'd be beat up in the locker room then, and, and I wouldn't have like a safe bus trip to an away game. So it wasn't worth it. And I was able to play tennis because it was co-ed and I was able to run cross country because it was co-ed. I didn't play basketball because I would have had to play on the girls team and I didn't feel comfortable there anymore. My teammates no longer felt comfortable. Um, my basketball coach was super supportive about it and was like, whatever you want to do, like we're here to support you. But I was looking at the, the kids that I was playing with and I was like, maybe two of them are safe and the rest of them, like, it depends on the day. Yep. Depends on what they had for breakfast. Like, it, it's, it's, it was that much, like, it was a flip of a coin. Um, and it, it wasn't worth it. And like, all of these things that I love to do, I no longer loved or were able to participate in because like, do I do this thing because I really like it one last time or like risk the chance that I'm gonna get beat up in the park when I go play basketball because I have had death threats left in my locker at school or sent to my house or- Just for being your authentic self. Exactly. And I've had countless people tell me how happy I am now and how excited I am about life. And like, I smile more than I ever have. And I didn't take pictures before and everything was uncomfortable. And like, I looked uncomfortable all the time. And to see that into who I am now and then tell me that I'm doing it wrong. Like, I, it just baffles me every time that I think about it. That's like, you don't want me to be happy. And I'm- It, it is something else. I mean. You know, as you were telling your story about being an athlete, I very much am an athlete also, and I played high school baseball. And I was, like I was asked to try out for some pro teams and things mm -hmm. like that. And my senior year, I quit. Mm -hmm. After I finished my senior year, I quit all sports because of what you just described, the exact same things about, I didn't want to play on a men's team, mm -hmm. first of all, because I wasn't a man. And I, so I'm gonna ask an uncomfortable question in a second, but I'm gonna lead it with my answer first. When I lost that ability to go do something I loved, I had to replace it with something. I replaced it with very unhealthy behaviors. I did a lot of drugs, I hung out. I did high risk behavior things because I hated my life, I hated the world, and I could care less if I died. Mm -hmm. So for a vast majority of my life from high school up until almost 40 years old, that was my thing to keep alive because my coaches didn't support me, my religious leaders didn't support me, my parents didn't support me, but my drug dealer did. Mm -hmm. And so I went down the path of that. And I'm not saying ever to do that, but I'm alive now because I found something to keep me alive Unfortunately, it was a very unhealthy behavior. It was very high risk, and I came out on the other side of it, luckily. What did you do to replace sports? Um, a lot of my destructive behaviors happened before my transition because I was still holding on to the hate. Um, I struggled with self-harm and an eating disorder for a long time. Um, again, my brother is the one who saved me there and was like, I see something's up, this needs to change. Um, so he went and told my parents I ended up going to therapy and so I was able to save myself from a, a lot of situations that could have been a lot worse if yeah. I hadn't have him, didn't have him. Um, when it moved into like losing sports and losing club activities and things like that, I turned to music. Um, I had always sang, I loved to sing. I was in uh, my school's acapella group. Um, my chorus teacher my senior year let me sing as a tenor instead of an alto. Um, and I played in our school band. I started teaching myself guitar, ukulele. Um, I picked up a banjo once, but didn't get super far with that. Um, started teaching myself how to play piano and really anything to fill that time that before I was on the basketball court or in the soccer field. Or, um, I spent a lot of time running too, just like where I live, our road's a mile long, so run there and back. Um, I did a lot of horseback riding. I used okay. to compete in rodeos and stuff like oh, that. Nice. Yeah. Barrel riding? Yeah, actually nice. barrel racing. Um, my brother used to rope steer. 
but it, that was more like a family thing. So I was able to fill it with other activities that were much less harmful. But again, I, I wouldn't have made it there and started my recovery if I hadn't had somebody there to tell had me. Your family. Yeah, and really like, I will say this for the rest of my life, my brother saved my life on multiple occasions. Um, but without him realizing like, you're not eating or like you, like what's up with you? Like, or finding me at my absolute low, I, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you, brother. <laughs> I'll say it for you also.